of heaven, heaven. Right. this is the word of God. I agree, I agree with God. With God. I, am I am more than conqueror. More than I have I the mind of Christ. I am hungry, Lord. Feed me to the fullness of the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. God is telling me right now, I'm going to do something mighty. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Let's go with it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The topic for today is seeing through the eyes of God. Seeing through the eyes of God. We have natural eyes. Yes. We can see the railroad. We can see the, or the road when you're driving. We can see the food when you're eating. We have a spiritual eyes. A whole lot of people that are Christians have been seen through the natural eyes. The reason why we see through natural eyes is because we're used to the physical more than the spiritual. We are used, very used to the physical more than the spiritual. But God said, now you're a new creation. I made a way for you so you can see through my eyes. God wants us to see through his eyes. Too many people are seeing through the eyes of defeat and it's killing us. God is saying for me to tell you, I want you to see through my eyes. When you see through the eyes of God, you are not moved by things that are overwhelming. You are not moved by any, any kind of circumstances in life. Amen. You don't give up. You don't quit. Why? Because you know what the Bible says. The Bible says you are more than conqueror. He's not saying that because there's nothing to say. He said because that is true. Yeah. Whatever the Bible says, that's the real thing. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Things are not the way they look. Things are the way God said they are. Yes, sir. So stop going by what you see and start going by what God sees. Yeah. Amen. See it through the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest and happy be unto all men. Amen. On whom his favor rest. There was a man in the Bible. His name was Gideon. Judges chapter 6. His name was Gideon. The problem is this. The children of Israel did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Listen to me. You can do things and you think it's right if it's not in line with what of God is evil in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. Say with me. So whatever, whatever I do, I do. If, it it does. Does. if it doesn't line up with the Bible, what the Bible says, if it doesn't line up with what the Bible says, then it's evil in the eyes of the Lord. In the eyes of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Judges chapter 6, verse 1. The Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord, and for seven years it gave them to the hand of the Midianites. Many times when we do the evil in the eyes of the Lord, Instead of saying, Lord, forgive me, you found me, we try to hide. Mm -hmm. We try to do things. Yes. They did even the eyes of the Lord. But you see, our action, we have a control of. The, the, the outcome of it, we don't have a control of it. Amen. The repercussion. Amen. The ripple effect. Amen. And listen to me. We didn't drop off the sky. We are families. People are family reunion, right? Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So whatever you do, I felt our families, I felt our church, I felt the whole group around you. On the job, wherever you go, yes, you represent God. Yes. We represent God. So you have to be extremely careful of that. So children of Israel did even in the eyes of the Lord, and instead of saying, Lord, we are sorry, they start hiding. They did it. So for seven years, they went through some changes. The more they were hiding, the more trouble they were having. The Lord allowed the Midianites and the people of the East to overwhelm them. Yes, sir. So many of them, the Bible said they were like locusts everywhere. They just occupied the whole territory. So sometimes we do the crime we don't want to pay. He <laughs> says, Lord, you know something? You found me. Without holiness, no man shall see God. God is saying, I want to fellowship with you. Yeah. You're in the altar for long enough. Mm -hmm. He spoke that to me. He said, the fellowship is in the holy of the holies. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Come on all the way. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Too many people are playing church. Stop! Yeah, right. Don't do that. Rachel will come and go. You still be beating the drum. Where's everybody? Well, sorry. The sheep left. Why are you beating the tambourine and all the organ? See, whoever is the performers are left behind. The performance wow. I live behind. Pastor. I can get in the club. Mm. You can perform in the club. Hallelujah. When you come to church, it's the anointing. Amen. With the holiness, no man shall see God. 
Be holy as I am holy. People performing, you know, put up a show. It's called fake. That's what they call an actor. An actor can act like the character. He make he make them believe that. Somebody was asking like Jesus Christ for a long time, and he was not a believer. Eventually, he became a believer. Isn't that interesting? Quoting the world and acting like Jesus would act, but this other was not the Christ of God. Wow. They did evil in the eyes of the Lord. When we do evil, when we do things that are not pleasing to God, be quick to repent. Say, Lord, you know something? You found me. Yes. Quick, I'm going somewhere. Stay with me. Yes, sir. God is saying, when I finish with you, your purpose in life will be clear. Yes. You'll be able to walk in the, in the will of God for your life. Hallelujah. The reason why Christ died on the cross is so that you and me can walk in this will for our life. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He alone is worthy. You don't have to go there for just uh, first point. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. It says, ever since I had you, I never stopped praying for you. I continue yeah. to pray that you might be filled with the knowledge of God. Through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. I pray this that you may live a life worthy of the Lord. Yeah. That you may please him in every way. Yeah. That, that you may bear fruit in every good work. Yeah. That you may no. grow in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. That you may be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. Hallelujah. That's, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the prayer for us. That we please him in every way. Yes. That we grow in the knowledge of God. Yes, that we bear fruit, bear fruit in every good work. You have to stay connected to bear fruit. You're talking yes. about holiness. Yes. I'm divine, you are the branches. Bear fruit in every good work. Come on with me. Hallelujah. Come on with me. Stop being a nominal Christian. Hallelujah. God is tired of people going to church and going back home and living in sin. Yes, That's sir. a mess. Yes, That's a disgrace. Yes, sir. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. It's the glory yeah. and the lifter of our head is the author yeah. and the finisher of our head. Inside of you is the Christ of God. Yeah. Inside of you and me is the Christ of God. He coming to live in us so, so he can keep us. Yes. How can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your word? Your word that I have hidden in my heart, I will not sin against you. Hallelujah. God enables us to live holy if we want him to help you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. It's, it's called the comforter, the paraclete. Yes, Somebody sent along the website to help us. Yes, sir. To say yes to yes. Jesus and not to sin when nobody is looking. Yes, sir. We have too many people with, too many people with, with no character, with no integrity. Mm. Live like a dog in the secret and live like a saint outside. Right. You play double game, you're an actor. Stop acting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If the God doesn't have cannot keep me in secret, I don't have to read God. Yeah. Thank you. God is not for the show outside. Mm -hmm. That's right. I said, God is not for the show outside. Right. Right. But we are not perfect, we can yield to God. Yeah. Give, yeah. give him the right of way. So, Lord, if you don't help me, I'm going to mess up. Yes, yeah. But That's I need right. your help. That's it. Me, my inner man. That's it. I want to be kept, Lord, you yeah. keep me. Yeah. 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 Too many ends are not enough sins. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We're praise God. Hallelujah. They, they didn't even ask the Lord. But because the power of the media was so oppressive, the power of the media was the Israel prepared shelter for themselves. What did they do? Prepare shelter. They just told the man, say, Lord, forgive me. Instead of preparing shelter, trying to hide. <laughs> yeah, you are doing evil and then you're preparing the shelter for yourself. Hallelujah. <laughs> in the mountain cliff, caves and stronghold. Yeah. Whenever the Israelites planted their crops, whenever the Israelites planted their crops, Midianites, Amalekites, and the other Eastern people invade the country. They camp on the land and ruin the crops all the way to Gaza and did not spare a living thing for Israel. Neither sheep, nor cattle, nor donkeys. In those days, they measure your richness by the sheep and the cattle and the donkey you have. They have no donkey, no cattle, no sheep, no nothing. Anytime they plant the crop, the Midianites and the Eastern people will come and just take everything. So they had nothing. They were in poverty because they rejected God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Poverty. Hallelujah. They plant the seed, they just don't eat it. Mm. Wow. The, the troublemaker, verse 5, they came up with their livestock. Isn't that interesting? You're trying to destroy some country, so you go there with their livestock and everything else. Wow. I'm going somewhere. Stay with me. Hallelujah. They came with, up with the livestock and their tents like swarms of locusts. It was impossible to count them on, on their cameras. It was impossible to count them on their cameras. What does that tell you? The overwhelming. If you look, it's like a locust. Mm -hmm. Like the sand in the sea. Too many of them. And they're here to do havoc. To take everything you got. To make sure you have nothing. Mm -hmm. What? 
Isn't that interesting? I'm going somewhere. He said, they look like locust. There are so many. You can't count them. You can't count them. The can't count them. They invented they invent the land to ravage it. Made that so improvise, improvise the Israelites that they cry out to God for help. Don't wait until you lose everything to come to God for help. Wow. 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 When the Israelites cry out to God because of the Midian, they sent the prophet. He said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, said. I brought you up from out of Egypt for the land of slavery. God said, I saved you. Egypt is the type of the world. He said, I brought you in. I want to have a personal relationship with you. I'm tired of you going worldly on me. Yes, have worldly, have godly. Hallelujah. Worldly, godly Christian. Hmm. A worldly, godly Christian. I rescue you from the hand of the Egyptians. I deliver you from the hand of all your oppressors. I drove them up before you. I said to you, I'm the Lord your God, do not worship the God of the Amorites. In those times you live, but you have not listened to me. And then the angel of the Lord came down under the oak of Ophrah that belonged to Josh, Josh the Abrezerite. When the son Gideon was stretching wheat, and the one person to keep the wheat enough from getting it. Isn't that interesting? When you stretch wheat, you stretch wheat in an open space so the wind can blow away yeah. the shaft. Yeah. But if you do it in the secret, that means that you use a blanket to be found in it. Mm. So it's a whole lot of work. To get so little done because of disobedience to God. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at verse 3. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. What? Listen to me. God does not address you based on what you feel, He addresses you based on your potential. <laughs> that which He put place in you. Hallelujah. All the guys are in the parking lot right now. They look like you can go anywhere. Start the engine. Put it on drive, see what happens. They go. They have the potential to move, but they're not moving. Right. So God, God, whatever God saw in your life, when he made you, that's what he called you to be. Wow. God speak to you, mighty warrior. Wow. Mighty warrior. Give them as I look back. Wait a minute now. Oh, nobody else? Who? Sir, who are you talking to? <laughs> God is saying right now, you mighty warrior. You belong to me. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. It's the glory and the lift of our head. It's the author and the finisher of our faith. Many Christians are just in the outer court. Don't experience the joy of the Lord. Don't experience the peace of God. No miracle, no sign, no wonder. Just nothing. Just dress up, go to church and come back home. Playing, playing game. No anointing, no connection. I'm too tired of just going to church and coming back home with nothing. Preach, Pastor. What kind of a Christian is there? By labor, ah. that I might know him and the power of his resurrection Hallelujah. and the fellowship of his suffering. Hallelujah. I can forgive easily. Why? Because God told me to forgive and yes. I want to obey God. Yes. Yes. If you love God enough, you do his you obey his commandment. Let go of all offenses. Yes. Let go of all offenses. Yes. Hallelujah. Be ye holy as I am holy. Yes. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which you are of God? You are not your own. You have been born with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body yeah. and your spirit that belong to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't care how much money you, you think you have. If you don't have Christ in your life, a life, living and pulsating, you have nothing. Amen. Look at the book of Revelation. Say, you think you're rich, but you're poor and naked and wretched. Yeah. <laughs> Before I met my wife, I met this lady. You know, in Nigeria. She was beautiful. I mean, she was beautiful. I mean, she was physically real beautiful. <laughs> I mean, gorgeous looking. I look at that, and she came up with a book magazine or something. Only one problem I prayed, because they were trying to see if I can meet with her and meet her and everything. Because I was not married, my sister said, Oh, yes, you have to meet this girl. She's beautiful. I prayed. You know what God said to me? If you marry this girl, there's only one year from now, you're going to be homeless. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> but she's gorgeous. I know. I'm going to be homeless. <laughs> I said to her, I said, you know, I said to her, I said, you know, God really bless you, but you ain't the one. She was upset. She had it going on. The part of Nigeria where she lives is like the, the, the Ladu of Nigeria, okay. but the ocean front and everything. She pressed a button, somebody will come and answer to her, hey, Martin. Bring me some fried fish. Martin, 
P, they bring me this. Bonnie, what do you want? Martin. <laughs> Tell me, big office about, about three quarters the size of this room. That's the office. Wow. Chef, wow. chef, chef, at the place. She's a super manager of, 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 of a bank. She said, Bonnie, if you marry me, I'll give you 70% of, of, of Bring the money, I give you 70%. When the bank is about to close, I let you know so you can get your money out. So there's a financial interest. Mm. I pray, God said, if you marry her, as I want to now, I'm going to the bridge. Huh? Yeah, sometimes you go stay homeless. I know where I'm going. Oh. <laughs> so, so I have to wait. But she's cute. <laughs> Some of the Christians are trying to live under the bridge because they go by what they saw. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. What, 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 if, what if you don't see? What if, what if nobody has come? So you rather live under the bridge yeah. than to obey God. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I said to her, no, she was sure. Because she already showed me everything. She told the chauffeur to, to, to pick me up. I mean, yeah. she just pressed every button and everybody doing everything. Oh, plus she looking. So we say, where? Well, marry that girl? Is that the money from now? You'll be homeless. Homeless? No. Ah, man, go in the bless you. I mean, I mean you're a very precious. You're a beautiful person. But no. No, you got to now. Some people are so every man is they are not hardly good. I've got glass, they hear me. They were very upset with me. They worry me, what's going on with you, buddy? Can't you see? I don't want to see through my eyes. I don't want to live under the bridge. I don't know how I feel in the winter. <laughs> wow. We wow. pray for the people that are homeless. Yeah. I don't want to join the group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I have an option. Many Christians have the option, they just don't go with the option until they're under the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> and they try to give them some of the I say, no, don't give me anything yet. Amen. But it's under the bridge. I say, no. Amen. Isn't that interesting? I met somebody in the bank one time, she was going through changes. And I know God used me in healing. She was really cramping in pain and everything. But I was charging towards her. I just know God was going to do something. I went there. Before I got there, the Holy Spirit said, no. Don't say anything to her. I said, no, but she's in pain. She said, she's disobedient to me. 100% away from me. Don't touch her. Don't say anything. Wow. I was shocked. Because wow. I just knew God was going to do something. She was bent down. I mean, really going through. I was walking there with confidence. Hey. I don't know if I'm going to do something when I get there. I said, nope. I just put the time and walk away. I don't want to get in trouble with God. Because if you do, I mean, you don't, don't go there. Yeah. You don't want to know no. what God's going to do. No. If you do what he said, don't do it. I've been through that before. I'm not going through that again. Am I perfect? No, but i got, I got to do what God said to do. Well, praise God, let's keep going. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord is with you, you mighty warrior. Verse 13. Pardon me, Lord, give me a reply. But if the Lord is with us, why are all these things happen to us? Where are all these wonders and, uh, that our ancestors told us about when they said, Did not the Lord bring us out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and has given us to the end of the media. It's absolutely true. God was minding his own business, they decided to do evil. Now you pay for evil, then you blame in God. There are some Christians that are there. Go the wrong way and then blame God when things go wrong. Stop it. Repent! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you found me. He that had his sins will not prosper. He that forsake his sins and, and, and renowned them will, will find mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Verse 14. The Lord turned to, to him and said, Go in the strength you have and save Israel out of, the, out of Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? Give them what we had here. God said, You're a mighty warrior. He said, How can we be mighty warrior when all this is good? He said, Okay, go in your strength you have. I'm with you. You know what he said? Pardon me, Lord. Let me go a little bit more in the wrong direction. Doubtful. Gideon. I'm going somewhere. Stay with me. Gideon replied, How can I save Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh and I'm the least in my family. But you see, the problem is this. We cannot save this right now, strength. You cannot do things through Christ that strengthens you. Right. I can do all things through Christ. I cannot save. 
God is not looking at your ability to, to, to help us. He's not looking for, to, for our ability to get the job done. It's not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah! I can feel the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, I feel the Lord in here. Hallelujah! Some people are putting on God because they, they cannot do it. God didn't ask me to do it, just ask me to be obedient to Him yeah. while you're doing it. I already showed you the people of Midian, yeah. they were like a low cost, like a silent seashore, too many to, to number, overwhelming, outpowering, and everything else. And yet God told somebody who was the witness, weakest, in shop with Manasseh. And, 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 and the youngest, and nobody knew anything about him. God will go and put somebody that nobody knew about. Plain label. No title, no nothing. Yes. See, hey, I found out David, now go. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. He looked back to you, no, know, you. Oh. Oh, you, okay, you. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. God is not looking for titles, He's looking for obedience. Yield yeah. yeah. yeah, to Him. Yeah. Give him right away. Let Him have His way in your life. You can make it today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Father yeah. McGinnon, what can I say to you? My client is Lucas and Vanessa, and I'm the least in my family. The least in my family. The least in my family. Isn't that what happened with David? David was the eighth, eighth son. When they anointed the son of Jesse, then they anointed him. They didn't think it's going to be anybody. That's what someone has to ask the question Do you have any more left? If you anointed him, you know there's one left. If they are not him, they overlooked him. He's the youngest of all. They, they took him to all kinds of changes. He went to the war to give some food. He's he just arrogant. What do you come to do here in the war? You're not fighting, you're running. And somebody needs to be there, young or old, that will respond, that will yield to God. Yes, amen. How did the 17-year-old boy show up and say, you come to me with love and, and this? But I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of God of Israel, who, mm -hmm. <laughs> who you have insulted, mm -hmm. I'm going to take off your head today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm taking off your head today. Mm -hmm. See, so you have to prophesy to your giant. Mm -hmm. I'll take your head off today. Yeah, yeah, and I feel the body carcass it to the to the to the to the parts of the head. Yes. He said, "Am I a dog?" I, think, well, well, I mean, David was very interesting. We worked like a, with the staff. He said, "Am I a dog?" He, he, he got. Glad intimidated. For 40 days, two, twice a day, give me a man! And then we're run, running away. <laughs> as long as you're running from give, give me a man, you never get the job done. Yeah. You need to stand yeah. up to your situation. Yeah. So, you know something? You. Today's the last day. Uh, yeah. I got God. Yeah, and then God. Before, before you can take, get to me, you have to go through Christ first. Yeah. And Christ will take your head off. Hallelujah. Hold on to your faith in God. I would have fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And it shall strengthen your heart. Wait and stand on the Lord. You can make it today. God is looking for giant killers. God said, I, I'm tired of you just being a nominal Christian. You have me inside of you, lying dormant. You want to try to get the Holy Ghost unemployed. I, I empower you to do this. You won't even do what I empower you to do. Because you're thinking about your own ability. How can I go? My wicked, my trap, trap is wicked. You, know, you, mean, you mean to tell me God doesn't know that Gideon was the weakest? The weakest? And, and, the, and the weakest tribe? And, and plenty of yeah. God knew everything about it before he called you. God never called losers. He said, You're a mother. I don't care how you feel. What if it doesn't matter? God never called losers. He said, You're a mother conqueror. It's not wasting words. That's the reality of it. You just have to wake up to it. Yeah. Well, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Verse 16, very interesting. He said, Verse 16, he said, He was listening to the family. Verse 16, the Lord answered, I will be with you. You strike all the midnight, leaving none alive. What? You're going to strike all the midnight? Look at it, look at the locust. They cover everywhere. They have the tent. They have their. They have the animal, they have their everything everywhere. I'm gonna, Lord, <laughs> are you sure? All you gotta do is look around. You find a reason not to obey God. Yes. Just keep looking around. Yes, yes sir. That shall keep me in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on the Lord, because you put a trust in Him. Yeah. You can't be looking around at circumstances, they're too overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just told you, they're like locusts. They cover everywhere. They're too numerous to count. They're overpowering. Can't even plant any seed. Can't even have any 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 sheep or goat or anything. They take they took everything from you. But 
God said, go. Can you, can you imagine these things looking on both sides and they are numerous? Like low cost, yeah. to cover everywhere, yeah. overpowering, and God telling me to go. He said, Lord, isn't that, isn't that interesting? He said, Listen, I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere, stay with me. Gideon said, Lord, if, if really you, let me prepare a young goat. Let me, sacrifice, let me get my sacrifice ready. I want to make sure it's you. Mm -hmm. That's test number one. Mm -hmm. Get the sacrifice ready with a devil bread. And then touch it. And fire came. Pow! Accepted. And, and, and the man disappeared. He said, Oh, I'm going to die. Oh my goodness. Nobody has seen God and live. God said, No, you're not going to die. Why would God give you a vision so he can kill you? <laughs> God said, I'm going to give you the midnight. You're going to strike them all down. So God appeared to you in person. And, oh, oh. <laughs> Go through some pages. He said, No, you're going to be that daughter. Where the Lord is peace. I'm going somewhere. Number one, he killed a goat, get everything ready. Uh, sacro, sac it was accepted. He said, Wait a minute. Lord, I tell you what, if it's really you, I have the fleece here. Let the fleece be wet. I let the surrounding of the fleece be dry. Mm -hmm. He woke up in the morning, it was running to me. I mean, it was very, very wet. I mean, very, very wet. And then the surrounding was dry. Number one, he sacrificed an animal. God accepted it. Number two, the fleece was wet because he asked for it. Number two, he said, I tell you what, don't get upset with me, Lord. Let the fleece be dry. And the fleece was dry, and surrounding was wet. God said, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the middle of the night. I'm going to strike them all down. But I'll tell you what, if you're still afraid, take a salmon pura and go and listen to what the middle of the night are saying. Isn't that interesting? Gideon was afraid. I mean, very, very afraid. There's nothing wrong with being afraid as long as you don't let the fear dominate you. Mm -hmm. There will be times that God will tell you to do things that will so fear, like, oh my goodness, I'm going to get done. Just remember one thing. Through our God, we shall do violently. If you see that, give us victory over all our enemies. You can make it today. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. If God be for us, who can be against us? If that did not spare his only begotten son, but having delivered for us all, I shall not freely to give us all things. God said, You can make it today. Stop whining and stand up on your feet and say, Lord, you know something. You are God. Live your life through this. You and me today. Your God that can do all this through Christ and do nothing. I believe in God. That's the you. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running through it and they are saved. The Lord that gave unto you, Luke 10 19, I give unto you power to trade upon serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall be enemy as much. Why? Because I'm the left of God. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. It belongs to God. And God belongs to you. Hallelujah. You can make it to the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Prepare young goat, accept it. Let the fleece be wet, it happened. Let the fleece be dry, it happened. He said, if you're still afraid, then, then God said, go. He said, hey, go. I've given it to you. I have said the sacrifice. I have said the wet flea. I have said the dry flea. He said, if you're still afraid, go and listen to the media night. He said, take a summer poor. And they went and listened. And the person was interpreting the dream. He said, Oh, that's not the body. Yes. But, but, but God had given Midianites into the hand of Gideon. He said, Oh, who? Four times. He went, took God through the test four times. So many, God, some people have taken God through the test hundred times. Now they, they say, I'm moving it. The flu was wet, the flu was dry, the ghost was accepted. <laughs> If you're not going to move, why do you keep on asking God for a test? Yeah. For signs and signs and signs. God said, what do you have? Except for the son of Jonathan, I'm tired of giving you signs. The truth was dry, the truth was wet. God accepted. If you're still afraid, go. go. Take it seven. He said, go, but if you're still afraid. Isn't that interesting? Oh, I'm telling you. He said, go, but if you're still afraid. Thank you, Jesus. I'm still afraid. Then take a sermon. Yes, what? It's a good sermon. I was so shocked when the Lord told Gideon to announce. All those are afraid. 
I fear. Go back home. I was surprised he didn't go home. It was my friend and then. <laughs> Read the Bible. Yes. Every step of the way, he was gay. Yes. Got him to build an altar. He built it at night. Because it was, I, I'm telling you, he was scared of everything. <laughs> God looked for somebody that was least in the family and the weakest of the clan and the one that was scared of everything to represent him. Wow. Wow. Weakest in the family. <laughs> because in the, in the, of the tribe, smells of the tribe, because in the family, afraid of everything, because, yeah, you might think, okay, you, you, go, go, go in the strength I give you. In the, what strength? It's inside of you. God said, God said, well, 32,000 people, after the fourth time, when they went to, to listen to the servant, to, to listen to what the, the interpretation of the dream was for the midnight, then they said, okay, pa pa pa, he blew the trumpet, and everybody came out around to him. 32,000 people were within. 32,000 people within. Because you know that's too many people. They're going to see their hands and want the victory. <coughs> let me give you, let me, give, let me ask you a question. Here you are, 32,000. You know people you are facing? More than 135,000 people, midnight. Yeah, you're 32,000, first 135,000 people. God said you are too many. Say, say oh, all those are afraid. Go back home. Gideon announced. 22,000 people went home. I thought it would be 22,000 and one, with Gideon going with them. He didn't go with them. He was afraid, but he didn't let the fear dominate him. He can be afraid, but don't let the fear dominate you. Uh, when you have crossing, cross your life. Pass out your cast out of fear. Because he has many. So tell me, who's about South Africa is going? We have 10,000 people left. 10,000 against more than 135,000 people. God, I don't know what to do, but keep on. I was thinking 135,000 is not enough to face 135,000. 32,000 people is too small, according to what Gideon was thinking, to face 135,000 people. Now God, God is up to 10,000. Because there are still too many. And win them, win them out for you. So, here, yeah, this is what God is saying. Go, send to the water, take them to the water. See how they drink. You want to bow on the knees to drink, and you want to laugh like a dog to drink. Not on 700, bow on their knees to drink. Bow to their appetite. Mm. Appetite, bow to your appetite, mm -hmm. will not do it. Watch and pray. Yeah. So, when you get on, on the river to, to, in that position of, of, of worship, on your knee, you are vulnerable to the enemy. Because all oh, you can see in, 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 in the river, in, in, in the water, is a shadow of self. Shadow of self, as you can see, on your knees. Some people bad to their appetite. Yeah. God said, fast, I work and fast. No, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the family said they have fasting. <laughs> Back to their appetite. Because, okay, 300, other 300. He said, with 300, I'm going to give it to you. 300. Give them 300. Remember the story? He said, he divided them to three companies. He said, when I blow the trumpet, they have a picture in their hand. <laughs> picture. <coughs> yeah, you're facing 135,000 midnight. You have a picture in your hand. I intend to win. I got something to tell you. We almost there. <laughs> I'm in there with me. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When the sound 300 Trump, 300 is a uh, trumpet, when the sound of the trumpet, that's Judges 7 22. When the sound of the trumpet, 300 sound of the trumpet, you know what happened? Midnight, they turned against themselves. So they might that now. If you didn't have one, you still don't win. The Lord caused confusion among them. And the enemy that was so many turned against themselves. Yes. Wow. And they were killing themselves. Wow. What do you have to do? Just get a plan that when they finish. Oh, <laughs> God has a plan, but he'll never tell you all the plans. No. If you tell you they're going to kill themselves, they don't have to have faith. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to kill themselves. You already told us. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody feels they just sit there and eat. No, you walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. God will not give you the whole scenario of everything else. You just have to trust him. Hallelujah. That will only go back over power more than 135,000 people. Wow. wow. That's, that's what I say. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Judges chapter 8, verse 10 to 12, and then I'm done. <laughs>